uh, Malaysia is a, a predominantly Muslim. Mm. Does that restrict a lot of the taboo subjects that people would do? So, like, um, which which would happen? Mm. So, like, you know, um, a relationship between a woman and a woman, or a guy and a guy, right? Now, it does happen. It's not expected. Mm. And it's sort of not accepted, mm. right? Mm. I should say that there is expectations, but mm. it's all underground. Mm. Could you, mm. as a rebel filmmaker, <laughs> <laughs> see, already I'm getting that response. Could you, as a rebel filmmaker, tell that story? LGBTQ um, story has always been in the forefront of Malaysian film and TV. Mm. So it's not something new. Of course, sometimes some film were made, which was amazing, but then it got into like censorship or whatever it is, and then sometimes years after that, then only got air because you know the acceptance and things like that. Um, I think those kind of films or story is important, you know, so that we can navigate life a bit better. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not something foreign. We have seen a lot of. Oh, that's um, good. So yeah, it's not like as if oh, you cannot ever make this. Type well, of you story. don't see. We wouldn't know that because yeah. you know we we know also it can be quite strict because mm. also there's films that are banned in mm. Malaysia mm, 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 mm. that were released everywhere else. Yeah, and and I'm thinking, no, like I'm talking. I think there was a Disney film or one of the, the Prince know, of Egypt. Prince of Egypt. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when you hear stories like that, you also look at other stories and you go, well, are they allowed to tell those stories? So they are. They are. I mean, here's the thing, though. Look, people have this um, perceptions of Malaysians or Malaysia uh, that, oh, it's you cannot do this. You cannot. Do this. Seriously, nobody cares. Nobody cares if you, if whatever you do is between you and whoever you report to if it's got then it's no gone. but i'm talking about it's between you and probably one million other people if it's in the media industry yeah so it, does it is it like in in our culture and in hollywood and stuff to who's financing those projects true mm. um if the company is more open to the idea and how are you gonna why are you telling this story if the story is important if let's say i think the the first few um, drag queen or like gay character got introduced in Malaysia it was through comedy so through comedy you soften the blow in a way yeah and then it got a little bit accepted yeah it's, yeah. it's I mean co comedy going all the way back to I'm gonna I'm gonna be murdered if I get this name wrong Aristophanes I think it was he did uh, comedy uh, back in ancient Greece mm. But he was the only person through comedy that could really pick holes at the leaders of the, the government, mm. you know, like, so if, if, if Greece did something or at the time it wasn't Greece, but if they did something completely wrong, mm. Aristophanes could come in with a play mm. that could show that to everybody, yeah. but it was accepted because it was through comedy. But yeah, everyone know he's pointing fingers at that person for doing this.